Hey everybody, Brian here from the Witch Doctor series, Advanced Practical Shooting. Uh, primers is the topic uh, today. Uh, I know it's a sour topic for a lot of us right now, uh, hoping that uh, within a short amount of time it will no longer be a sour topic and we'll all be very happy about the availability of primers, but for now that's not the case. Um, a lot of people are struggling to find them and there's a lot of price gouging going on. And what I'm starting to see are a lot of people uh, that are changing their primers because they've ran out of their standard primer. So, uh, you know, I thought, okay, this may be a good opportunity to do some testing. Let's see if changing up the primer has any appreciable impact on uh, velocity and group size uh, when we use the same uh, powder charge and uh, seating depth that we have used previously that has uh, seemed successful for us. So anyway, so the test today was to look at three different primers and there they are. Uh, we're looking at the Federal 205 match primer, um, the CCI BR4 and the CCI 450 Magnum primer. Uh, we utilize the 6 PPC cartridge, again with the 262 neck. Went out and shot it at 100 yards. Loaded up 10 rounds of each of these primers using the same charge. We use 29.8, 4 ,5 thousandths jam. Uh, it's noted though that 29.8 was not the ideal charge for um, the Federal 205Ms, which are the primers that I usually use. Uh, so the groups I expected to grow a little bit uh, with that charge and with Federal 205M, but I was curious to see how much difference is there going to be in the velocity and group size using these three different primers. So, uh, well, let's dive into it. So with the Federal, the group did open up um, a little bit uh, compared to 29.9, but I wanted to use a little bit of a lighter charge uh, just just as a precaution, I know, you know, there's some ideas out there about, you know, well, if you change the primer type, then uh, it'll increase velocity, it'll burn differently, blah, 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 be careful, um, go to a lower load before you, you know, start using a different primer so that, um, you know, you can make sure it, 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 uh, it's, it's safe and everything like that. So I did go down um, a 0.8 grain on the N133 uh, just to be safe. And what you see here is, yes, the groups relative to previous tests did grow a little bit. Um, but we have this one here, first five shot group using 205M was 0.217. Uh, the other group um, was 0.346. Um, going down to CCI BR4, again with the same exact load and the same exact seating depth. The groups were 207, 273, so seemingly a little bit better than the 205M. And then we go down here to the CCI number 450, and we have a 2.19 and a 0 0.106. So it seems like, in general, the group sizes could vary uh, based on what um, primer you're using. Um, the velocities, however, um, again from the 205, these two were about the same. So 205, you know, we have 33, 74-ish type velocity. For the uh, BR4, we saw 33, 88, 33, 86, a very consistent, yet seems to be a little bit higher you know, about uh, 12 feet per second, uh, maybe 14 feet per second higher with the BR4s. So that's an interesting finding. I'm not sure how or whether these would be statistically significantly different. Um, not sure they would be. But then you go down here to the 450s and you have 3369, 3371. Um, which it seems like the 450s were very similar in velocity to the 205M, um, but the groups were smaller in general. And um, so anyway, um, we I took a look to at the primer at the uh, I'm sorry at the cases to see you know 
Were there any signs of pressure or anything like that? Um, didn't really see any pressure signs. There's a little bit of swipe on, on this case, but <clears throat> that swipe was actually there prior to doing this testing. So uh, it, it, this was very consistent with the rest of the cases. They all had a little bit of a swipe. I think I tested these cases with a stout load of <laughs> N133, probably 30.3 or so at one point, and that's what led to the swipe. But So I looked at them before I chambered them, and then after I fired them, pulled them out and looked to see is the swipe any different? Are there any other pressure signs? And I couldn't find any. Um, the primers are not that flat. Um, doesn't look like there were any appreciable differences in you know the primers or any pressure signs um, with the primers. So anyway, um, looks like it's in my conclusion. It's you know probably safe to say that at least with these three different primers and with a six PPC case and um, a, 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 lo a load of you know what may be a moderate to somewhat kind of on the hot side load for you. There may not be a huge difference in the pressure or velocity by switching up primers. Um, there may actually be, you know, a group size difference with some primers maybe um, showing better grouping here. So it seems like number 450 was demonstrated pretty good pretty good group sizes compared to 105M and BR4. Anyway, so please, um, again, um, subscribe to this, like, and um, share, and make send me some comments. We're looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this test, but um, that's it. Primer changes don't, don't seem to, you know, cause, well, at least for these three primer types, any major pressure differences. Um, if anything, possibly a slight velocity change and, and a slight uh, change in group. So, okay. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night.